Hi everyone. Today we are again here to learn age problems and we will be using Singapore approach to solve the problem where there will be no algebra and we can solve the problem in seconds. Because earlier when I was teaching the students then we were only using algebra to solve the age problem questions. It involved ratio and it involved only algebra to solve these questions. But when I observe nowadays grade 4 and 5 Olympiad maths exam papers also having age problem ratio involving which involve algebra but children don't know it. So easily we can use the Singapore approach to solve this problem. Let's see how. So the question says the ratio of age of brother Tom and sister Tanya is 5 by 9. So Tom and Tanya. And then we will have difference. Right? So this will be our three column. Tom, Tanya and difference. So it's given how much? This is 5 units. Then Tanya is how much? 9 units. So my difference is 4 units. So ratio of ages of brother Tom and sister Tanya is 5 by 9. And the age of one of them is greater than the other by 40. So this is given, this difference is given as 40. That means what is given? 4u is given as 40. So 4 units is 40 years. So sum of their ages if they are asking, so what is the sum of the ages? In units, 5 units plus 9 units, that is how much? 14 units. So if 4 units is 40 years, so 1 unit is how much? 10 years. Therefore, 14 units will be 14 into 10 years. So, 140 years. That will be our answer. How easily, you know, without involving any algebra concept. So, even a grade 3 and 4 child can understand this concept. Let's see another question. The ratio between Navya and Arya age. So again we make our table. Navya, Arya, present age they are talking. So present age is how much? This is 2 units and this is 3 units. Then if we talk about difference, so difference will be how much? 1 unit. Now it says Navya is 6 years younger than Arya. So it says Navya is six years younger than Arya. Okay. So now that means one unit is how much? Six years because that is the difference. Right. So one unit is six years. Then two units will be how much? Twelve years. And three units will be how much? Eighteen years. So this is our percentage. In question what they are asking? After six years, what will be the ratio? So after six years, what will be their age? This will be 12 plus six, and this will be 18 plus six. So this gave you 18, and this gave you 24. So 18 is to 24 in simple ratio. If you divide by six, both of them, you'll get three is to four. That gives the answer. Right, everyone? So this you can visualize that how much easily you can do this question. Let's go to next question. Here it says if four years ago the ratio between the ages of Namya and Madhu was five and six. So if you talk about Namya and if you talk about Madhu and then we have to talk about the difference. So this is how much? 5 units. This is how much? 6 units. And this will be 1 units. Right? If 4 years ago, this is they are talking about 4 years ago. 
So if you talk about the present age, what will be the present age? That will be 5u plus 4. This will be 6u plus 4. Right? So sum of their ages at present is 52 years. So if you talk about the sum, how much it will be? 11 units plus 8 equal to 52 years. So if you use the equation, minus 8 here, minus 8 here. So 11 units is equal to how much? 44. So one unit will be how much? 4 years. So what is the ratio of their present age? So present age of Namia is how much? 5u plus 4. Let's change color. So that is 5 into 4 plus 4. That's give you how much? 24. And here 6 into 4 plus 4. That's give you 28. So if you take 24 is to 28, how much is the ratio? If you divide by 6, if you divide by 4, then this gives you 6 is to 7. That will be the ratio. So, and that's done. No algebra, no any big calculation and the questions can be done very accurately. Let's go to next question. This says the present age of Aradhana. Okay. So, we have Aradhana and we have Adrika. They are talking about present age and the ratio is given as 3 units, 4 units and then we talk about difference which we make same. This is 1 unit. 5 years back means before 5 years. Before 5 years how much is the ratio? This is 2 units, this is 3 units. So you can see difference is same. So 1 unit is equal to how much? 5 years because they are talking about 5 years back. So present age is how much? Present age is how much? 3 units. So 3 units will be how much? 15 years. Just that and we have the answer. You can check using algebra. So this is so smart to use Singapore method to solve this type of question. Let's solve another problem. So it says the ratio of Jenny to Andy is 2 is to 7. So we'll talk about difference. So this is 5 units. Now after 8 years. The ratio become 2 units, 5 units and the change is how much? 3 units. So let's make the difference same. You multiply this by 3 and you multiply this by 5. So how much you go? Just see 6 units, 14 units, 15 units. And here it goes 10 units, 25 units. Sorry, here it become 21 units. Because 3 times 2 gives you 6, 7 times 3 gives you 21, and 5 times 3 gives you 15 units. Similarly here, you have 15 units. Now you see, difference becomes same. So find Jamie present age. So now you see, when the difference is 4, so 4 units is equal to how many years? 8 years. So 1 unit is how much? 2 years. So now how much is Jamie age? Jamie age is 6 unit. Therefore Jamie equal to 6 units. That is how much? 12 years. That's it. And we are done. Let's see some more examples to clarify this concept fully. So it says the present age of Ara and Pihu. So we have Aro and we have Pihu. So their ages are in the ratio of 5 is to 6. This is 5 units, this is 6 unit, this is 1 unit. After 7 years, so change is how much? 7 years plus 7 plus 7. 
So what is the new ratio? Six unit, seven unit, one unit. You can see the difference is constant. So that means one unit is how much? Seven years. You can see six minus five or seven minus six. So one unit is seven years. So they are asking what present age of R. So how much it is? Five units. So five units will be seven times five. That gives you thirty-five years. Done. Let's solve another question. So it says Dolly age is one by four of her aunt's age. So we have Dolly, and we have the aunt, and then we have the difference. So this is one. This is one unit we can write. This is four units we can write, and the difference we can write as three unit. Now it is saying this is my present age. Now it is saying that her aunt is forty years old now. That means what? Four units is equal to forty, or one unit equal to ten years. Now they are asking you in how many years time will Dolly age be five by seven? So five units. This is becoming this is becoming seven units. So difference is how much? Two units. So in how many years? This will become five by seven. So first, our job is to make the difference same. So you multiply by two, and you multiply by three. So how much you got? Two units, eight units, and six units. And here you got fifteen units, twenty-one units, and six units. So if you see. One unit is equal to how much? Thirteen years. So you can see four units for this, eight units for this, and twenty-one units for this. So thirteen units will be how much? One thirty years. So how many years time will be Dolly age of her auntie? Both will grow equally, no? The age difference will be constant. So one thirty divided by two, that gives you sixty-five years. Either you can approach like this, or You can also think this problem in a different way. Let's explain to that also. Suppose Dolly age, then her aunt age, and the difference. So if Dolly age is one units, aunt age is four units. Difference is three units. So this difference will be constant. So how much is this difference? Three units is how much? Because we see four units is forty. Because aunt says is uh, four units. Because it is same forty years. So one unit is ten. That means three unit is how much? Thirty years. Right. So now if you see, this is one units, this is four units, and this is thirty years. Now if you see here, so this is how much? Five units, seven units. So how much is the difference? Two units. So if you have to make thirty, so you have to multiply by fifteen, right? So this become what? Seventy-five units. This become hundred and five units, and this become what? Thirty, right? Now four units is how much? Forty. So hundred and five minus forty will give you how much? Sixty-five. So after sixty-five year, Dolly age will be five by seven of the aunt age. So you can pause the video and try to understand the concept. It will be much much helpful for any of the Olympiad exam. Even it will be global Olympiad or it will be like Indian Olympiad. It is much much helpful. Let's try all the questions. i have given just please try to solve any of the age problem involving ratios and i think you will be able to do it if you like please subscribe thank you take care bye bye